morning. Um, last night, this thing happened, and it happened the night before too, where I leave my furnace on to like fairly low setting, and then it comes on every once in a while, but then I wake up, and it's really cold, and the furnace is on, but it's not heating up anything. It's just pumping like the same cold air that's in the van, you know, it's just recirculating it. So I have, didn't go outside and check to see if, because I was like in my underwear, but I didn't go outside and check to see if like it was just pumping propane outside. But I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. It's like, it thinks it's ignited, but it's not. There's supposed to be safety mechanisms to keep it from doing that. Or to make it fire up the, uh, the spark again. But it doesn't. I don't know what's going on. Might have to do with one of my fuses being blown, so I'm going to go replace that today. And uh, do some more tests, but it's working right now. Like, I just used it to heat up the van. I don't know. Just sometimes it doesn't. Kind of been sleeping up top. Um... It's because it's kind of, it's a little cool and, you know, nice to keep each other warm. But he's such a skittish little dog. He's, he's worried right now that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave and, and I'm not going to bring him with me. He's like, but I really want to go outside. I'm like, I know. Don't worry, buddy. We'll go outside together. It'll be great. we we'll never go outside without you. Okay, I might sometimes. I'm gonna get a cell phone plan today too. My my cell phone plan in Ottawa ran out. This is one I use for the moto trip. And it ran out uh, five days ago. So I've been surviving five days without a phone, which is, you know, I'm pretty impressed with myself to be honest. I'm not uh, I'm not as completely addicted to technology as I thought I was. Doing okay. I have been to Starbucks like 95 times though to check my email and stuff. So maybe I'm not not as impressive as I thought I was. Anyway, I'm not sure what plan I'm gonna go with. Last year, I went and got a T-Mobile plan. They have a $3 a month plan, and then you can put an add-on on it, and I put a t uh, one gigabyte every week. So it worked out to be, the you know, one gigabyte was 10 bucks. And pretty much everywhere I've gone, it's been 10 bucks a gigabyte, no matter if you get like uh, some sort of data plans or just data or whatever. At least with this one, I have a little bit more control, and I can add one gigabyte at a time. So if I run out of a gigabyte early, I can add another one, or I can not. So base cost is $43 a month um, for 4 gigabytes, and you get like 30 minutes of calling or something like that. Not too bad. Um, kind of a fair plan. I'm going to do a little bit more research. I found a few that were like um, 5 bucks a gigabyte, but there were all kinds of constraints on it, so you need to check that out. I know the T-Mobile one works pretty good, though. And for any Canadians watching, when Americans say LTE, it means a very different thing than when Canadians say LTE. Because Canadians, we haven't really experienced LTE. Man, it is so much faster down here. I love it. Oh my, oh my god, you could actually use this, like, as a home connection for your house. That's crazy. Yeah, LTE is awesome. This is my least favorite part of getting Champ out in the morning. He always squirms. Gonna make sure you move the coffee really far away because you'll try and kick it. Come on. Come on. Yes. No, no, no kicking, no squirming. There, see? That wasn't so bad. Alright, we'll go outside. Alright, I did a bit more research. Uh, I was gonna go with T-Mobile. They're about ten bucks a gig. I found one that's about like I think five and a half dollars a gig. Getting a ten gig plan for like sixty bucks. I'm just gonna check up on it now. Yeah, I went with a company called Straight Talk. I don't know. They use all of the big three uh, providers, so you can choose whether you want to be on Verizon, AT and T, or T-Mobile. Um, it cost me fifty-five dollars a month. And I think, yeah, 10 gigabytes, $55 a month, unlimited talks, unlimited text, and then unlimited data after 10 gigs, but it's painfully slow. I found that um, I usually use like 4 or 5 gigs. I figure with 10, I can splurge a little bit. And like this trip, I'm planning on being a little bit more connected since I'm on my own. So I thought 10 gigs would be able to be a smart move. And uh, it wasn't that much more than all of the like uh, 4 or 5 gig plans. So couldn't find anything else around that price point. There are a couple other ones, uh, Cricket uh, and uh, Mobilis, no wait, Cricket and PC Metro uh, plans were, were similarly priced. Um, 
Boost Mobile has a better plan, but the problem is you can't bring your own phone, you can't bring your own devices. I brought, I have a Samsung S7, so I'm not gonna go and buy another phone because uh, I don't have money for that kind of stuff. But yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm uh, gonna do a few months of that. And um, in Mexico, who knows, maybe I won't even use cell phone plan. I'm, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Just, just totally disconnect for a week or two. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make some breakfast here. A little bit of fry up zucchini, a little bit of uh, poshish or uh, chickpeas in English, which by the way, way cooler word. Okay, the French version, poshish. Come on, that's amazing. And uh, you know, some eggs and cheese and just make yourself a nice little omelet, you know? Gotta empty that stuff out of the fridge somehow. Breakfast is served. Welcome to the Indiana Dunes, Lakeshore Dunes, something or other. Anyway, this is all national land, national lakeshore. So my entry is free, which is cool. I'm taking this opportunity to start my training because I want to run a marathon this year. It's going to be pretty hard. I think I just ro ran half a mile. I'm dying already. <laughs> There's a lot of work to be done. I feel like my airways are just full of phlegm and need to be cleared out and need to be strengthened. You want it more than me. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Don't come back crying Cause I know that it doesn't hurt seem guilty but I did nothing to deserve like a freaking ocean it's huge look at it wow how far are we we're on the west coast wow I'm pretty sure I didn't Yep, it's amazing. And I gave you all that I am, but you still couldn't see. You wanted more than me. You wanted more than me. Give you 
champ. Look at you, covered in sand already. I did my best. I cleaned you, and uh, now you're disgusting again. Honestly, it's not this lifestyle that makes him dirty. It's just, it's just him. You know, he does this to himself. Start, sun's starting to set, buddy. Champ, that's too big. It's too big for you. It's too big. No, I, no, you can't bring it home. Hey, that's enough. Barking at it's not gonna make it any smaller or you any bigger. It's not, no. He's like, this is the perfect stick. You're doing good there, buddy. It might be a bit too big for you. I can't throw it. What good is a stick if you can't throw it? Champ. It's, the sand is squeaking. Champ, we gotta get up this hill, man. Come on, it's not a spot to lay down. Let's go. Hey, keep going. I was, uh, as I'm walking down, everyone else is in like sweaters and stuff. And it's like some running gear, but I guess for them, this is cold. I thought, you know, Chicago gets pretty cold, you know? We're just about there. Wisconsin, thing. It's freaking cold there. And that's nearby. I don't know. It's pretty warm for me. It's nice. It's nice to get a little bath a little using that soap now that I have. I got a new, a new one from Bulk Barn that's totally uh, water safe, which is cool. So Champ can get more baths and the whole van will smell less, theoretically. All right, I'm gonna head into Chicago. I'm gonna find a spot to camp out for tonight and uh, I have to edit a whole episode or two tonight and upload them because I still haven't caught up. I'm just constantly like doing one episode a day and frantically getting it up in time. I don't know how I'm managing so far, but uh, yeah, I'll implement the new schedule probably soon. Probably by the time this video is posted, new schedule will start. And uh, I'm excited to start filming some new kinds of videos. I can get those dirt bike tires on the dirt bike and do some moto vlogging, dirt bike style, all kinds of stuff. Should be fun. Okay, and cut to van. So I parked up in a Walmart and I'm just south of uh, of Chicago. I think it's like a 20 minute drive to downtown from here. So I'm just gonna chill out here and I think I'm gonna spend the evening working on my computer. I'm gonna try and get an episode uploaded. Uh, we will see, but I am making dinner. Um, I'm gonna make like a vegetarian butter, butter veggie tofu and rice kind of thing. I like not actual butter, but like butter chicken butter. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Um, and then I'm gonna spend a lot of time tonight just like planning out uh, Chicago and Denver and Salt Lake. By the time you see this video, I'll probably be done Salt Lake. And I think the plan right now is to go south after that and check out some of New Mexico and Arizona. So if you're down there, reach out to me. Um, I've got a few people I wanna re-see, re see again, re- we uh re get drunk with uh that we met last time we were traveling through here so um yeah no I'd, I'd like to meet some new people though totally the key to frying anything especially tofu is you make sure the pan is hot the oil is hot and whatever you're throwing in is relatively dry if you put water on oil it will steam it will not crispify you want that crispification so I'm gonna use a little paper towel here. I'm gonna dry out my tofu a little bit and crispification.
Because it's just me in the van, I've taken to eating directly out of this little cast iron pan. You know what, it's actually really nice. You know that crispy tofu came out nice and crispy and then you put the sauce on it. It's good, man.